All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. And today we are going to be going over the details for the brand new Dokkan Fest Transforming Ultimate Gohan who will be dropping on the JP side of the game very, very soon. And we're also going to be getting a new Kabito Kai who's going to be on Gohan's banner as a secondary unit. And finally, the AGL West Supreme Kai is getting a Dokkan Awakening. So a lot of stuff to get through in this video, but before we jump into the details, let's quickly watch the animations for the two new units. Let me just quickly turn off my music here, and let's get into it. Okay, so we're starting off here with the animations for the Kai's first, and then we'll get into the Ultimate Gohan. I gotta say though, the Kai animations are really clean, man. Like, that looks awesome. And they're not a Dokkan Fest unit, so I'm glad they're still giving these guys the respect they deserve, you know? Like, that looks awesome. That, 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 those are like Dokkan Fest quality animations, in my opinion. Okay, anyways, enjoy. I'm gonna shut up. <laughs> okay, so that that active skill animation looks really, really good. Don't get me wrong. It is just long as hell, man. Like that's gotta be the longest longest active skill animation in the entire game. And I don't think it's even that close. That was like a straight up like 20, 25 seconds. I'm not complaining though, because like I said, it looks really good. Just um, kind of crazy long. It's, it's, it's not a big deal though. His animations as well as the Kai's all look super, super clean. I enjoy them. And uh, it's nice. I mean, it's not the same level, you know, as like the Vegito Blue or Blue Gogeta or um, UI Goku or anything like that. But I wasn't really expecting that anyways. But uh, it's good. Looks really good. Okay. Oh, by the way, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about Ultimate Gohan's animations. Are you, you know, blown away? Do you think they look awesome? Or are you just like, not bad, pretty good? Or are you guys disappointed? Okay, let me know. But those are the animations for these two new units. Let me just actually turn on my music again for the rest of the video here. And let's pop over to the Dokkan subreddit where the homie Goresh has so kindly provided us with the translations for the Gohan, the Kai's, as well as the Dokkan Awakening for the West Supreme Kai. Okay, so huge shout out to the homie Goresh as always. We appreciate you. Thank you for all your hard work. And let's start here with the Gohan first. So he starts off as Gohan Teen, of course. His leader skill is for two categories. The first one is a new category called Saviors or Hybrid Saiyans. Q plus 3, HP plus 130%, and attack and defense plus 170%. Now, we don't know what Saviors looks like at the moment, at least when I'm recording this video, it's not out yet, but uh, Hybrid Saiyans, we know it's a very good category, so uh, either way, you should be able to run a pretty good team with him. His super attack greatly raises attack and defense and causes immense damage. So, unless there's some kind of mistake, unless there was like a turn restriction he missed out on, um, this dude is infinitely stacking attack and defense and greatly raising every single turn. That's stupid. That's already mad broken right there. I mean, of course, his passive is important, but this is very, very good. Okay, passive, uh, Elder Kai's Ritual, attack and defense plus 140%. 140%. Just before transformation. Okay, this is... Just Team Gohan, not Ultimate Gohan. 140% attack and defense. At the start of every turn, gain key plus one, up to a max of key plus three. Guard activated against all attacks and gains an additional attack plus 40% for the turn when guard is activated. But as you can see, there's no restriction on this guard activated against all attacks. So basically, 
you're getting that 100% of the time, so you're almost always going to be getting this, unless the enemy cancels guard, which I believe there are some out there that do that, but for the most part, against most enemies on most stages, he's going to be getting that 40% extra attack guaranteed. So he's already getting attack and defense plus 140%, he's getting some key, he's guarding against all attacks in addition to the crazy defense buff already, and then he's stacking attack and defense every single turn. Dude, like, <laughs> this dude, he's, he's insane. This is a crazy unit, man. There's, there's got to be a huge Ultimate Gohan fan out there, or just Gohan fan in general at Akatsuki, because who else would make a Gohan this crazy broken, man? Like, that's an insane passive. That's a crazy super attack. Greatly raises attack and defense every single super. And then Link's Radiacs, All in the Family, Saiyan Lineage, Cold Judgment, Revival, Power Bestowed by God, and Fierce Battle. So his active skill is Unlock Potential, can be activated once 5 turns have elapsed from the start of battle. And of course, he transforms into Ultimate Gohan. His categories are Saviors, Hybrid Saiyans, Resurrected Warriors, Majin Buu Saga, Goku's Family, Siblings Bond, Revenge, and rapid growth okay so once he transforms into ultimate gohan as you can probably expect it becomes even crazier he was already pretty damn busted before his uh his transformation he becomes even better as an ultimate gohan he gets um okay so super attack greatly raises attack for one turn causes immense damage with a medium chance to stun passive e plus three attack and defense plus 150 8% guard activated against all attacks, gains an additional attack plus 40% for the turn when guard is activated. Once again, he has a 100% chance to guard against all attacks, so this is pretty much guaranteed unless the enemy can disable your guard. Attacks effective against all types if there is one enemy and their HP is 58% or above, or if there's a Majin Buu Saga category enemy. So essentially, um, he gets this. Uh, attacks effective against all if the enemy has 58% uh, HP or higher regardless of what the enemy is But if you're facing Majin Buu Saga, then he will always have attacks effective against all types And then links are Brainiacs, Saiyan Lineage, Revival uh, Revival become Infighter, oh Revival becomes Infighter, okay And then Saiyan Warrior Race and Shocking Speed So there's your Dokkan Fest Ultimate Gohan right there um, I don't know, man. I don't know. He's stupid. <laughs> this is such a broken unit. Um, damn. I mean, I wasn't like super hyped for him before, but I he's a must summon for me now, man. Like when he comes to the global, um, we gotta go for him. There's no other option. He's really damn good, and that's an understatement for sure. He's mad busted. Okay, so there's the Gohan. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Do you guys have the same assess assessment as me? Um, I'm honestly kind of mind blown at just how good he is. Okay, so West Supreme Kai, Doken Awakening, Leader Skill, Realm of Gods, Category Q plus 4, HP Attack and Defense plus 100%, Super Attack, Greatly Raises Attack and Defense for one turn and causes Supreme Damage, and Passive is Godly Battle, Attack and Defense plus 100%, and then when receiving an attack, guard activated against all attacks for, for atta guard activated against all attacks for the turn. I don't know why that was so hard for me to read. And then Realm of Gods category allies attack and defense plus 40% and chance to perform a critical hit plus 10%. Okay, so essentially she becomes a lot more self-sufficient, right? She's not just a support unit, she can actually do some stuff on her own, which is awesome. And uh, Lynx, Battlefield Divas, Innocence, Courage, Shock and Speed, Godly Power, Supreme Power, and Fierce Battle. Categories are uh, Realm of Gods, Majin Buu Saga, and Patara. Okay, so a very solid, very good Extreme Z Awakening, or sorry, a Token Awakening for the West Supreme Kai right there. And finally, for the Supreme Kai and Kabido, uh, their leader skill is Patara Category Q plus 4, HP Attack and Defense plus 100%. Super Attack greatly raises defense for one turn, causes... Supreme damage with a high chance to stun. Passive is key plus 2. Attack and defense plus 120%. Attacked enemy gets attack and defense minus 30% for 2 turns. High chance to evade enemies' attacks and recovers 10% HP at the end of the turn. So, overall, really good. Debuff the enemy. Um, a solid buff on their passive as well. 
high chance to dodge and also 10% recovery guaranteed every turn. And then they can fuse and the condition is that they're able to fuse during an attacking turn. So from what I can tell here, you can essentially yeah, you can essentially pop the active skill like anytime you want, right? Like as long as they're on rotation, you can just use it on like the first turn if they're there. Unless I'm misunderstanding something, that's what it seems like it's saying. Able to be used during an attacking turn. Okay. Uh, Link's Telekinesis, Solid Support, Cold Judgment, Master of Magic, Godly, Godly Power, Supreme Power, and Fierce Battle. Categories, Realm of Gods, uh, Majin Buu Saga, Patara, and Joined Forces. And then they will fuse into Kibito Kai with the active skill. And uh, their super attack greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, causes supreme damage, and seals super attack. Passive is Q plus 3, attack and defense plus 150%. All enemies attack and defense minus 20% once only. Stun the attacked enemy for two turns and recovers 10% HP at the end of the turn. Links are telekinesis. Oh, so telekinesis and godly power become power bestowed by God. Infused fighter and all the other links stay the same. Okay. So, yeah, those are the new units, guys. Or two new units and a token awakening for the West Supreme Kai. I mean, these two are great, right? Like, the Kai's are, are, are fantastic, but man, Ultimate Gohan just kind of stole the show. I mean, I, I was I was expecting him to anyways. I, I thought he was going to be good. I didn't think he'd be this good. I didn't think he, was, he, he would be this good. He's going to hit really hard, but even more so, his defense is going to be off the charts, man. I mean, he's greatly raising attack and defense every super. 140% attack and defense, guard activated against all attacks, and then gains an additional attack plus 40% when guard is activated. Like, who made this card, man? Who came up with this? I mean, I'm not complaining, really. Like, I'm, I'm happy. It's just, wow. Wow. Okay, well, there you go, guys. That is today's video. That is the transforming ultimate Gohan. Let me just put his super attack animations in the background while we you know, do our sign off, say goodbye. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And uh, I want to know your opinions. All right, make sure you guys let me know in the comments because this is, this is just crazy. This is just crazy. Um, yeah, coming to JP very soon. Global probably at the end of the year or maybe beginning of next year, depending on how things work out. But uh that's it for today's video. That's all I gotta say. As always, if you guys like today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you'll like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.